bunch of people, good bunch of people who come to the event uh, and they still come. I think a lot of people who maybe don't go to so many music festivals anymore but they'll come to Earth Dance um, each year because they know it and they love it and there's something, they know there's something there for them. Um, so people from all walks of life are coming and enjoying it and um, the event just keeps growing. The whole Earth Dance concept is spreading and the, the concept of spreading the word of peace and getting on together through parting is getting out there. so important to us um, that a friend of ours in in the trans community actually her and her son started a, a charity and um, so that became our main focus after before like giving a little bit to a lot of charities we decided we'd rather give more to one and really make a difference which has been absolutely fantastic la, 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 la. La 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 And just now we just did a meditation. Um, basically why are we doing it is to bring everyone's mind in one you know space, you know, and also the theme of the week is Peace, love, beauty, blessings, dreams, you know, it's 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 just it's fun, you know, it's just a, an other way of dreaming, like where what you want to become in life. You know, because we don't have enough time to think about those things in the inside the our classrooms. That's why I'm taking this opportunity to give them that you know time to think like where like where do I stand? Like why what do I need in life? You know, things like that. My name is Jana Kretzma and I'm the director of an NGO called the Earth Child Project. And what we do is we're working in two schools in Cape Town, one in Kailicha, which is where we're at right now, and the other in Lavender Hill. And what we do is we put a full-time person in the school and they introduce and run our program, which involves organic gardening, worm farming, hiking. We also teach the kids about health and wellness, practical tools to be healthier and happier human beings. They introduce their name and what grade they're in, and then they step out. Introduce themselves, step out. And we also do life skills, but more alternative life skills to what they're doing at school. We teach the kids things like yoga, meditation, affirmations, the power of positive thinking. And we also do work with the teachers and the parents in the greater community. So that's what Earth Child Project does in a nutshell. Tools for Schools started about five years ago when Kath and I and two of our friends um, wanted to make a difference. We wanted to do something with our time and our energy um, to make a difference to the underprivileged people in this country. Um, we identified that education was something that we were all passionate about. Okay, so we decided to set ourselves a goal of a half a million rand to raise. Um, we had five schools initially. Um, and expanded to about seven by the time we finished the project. Um, Regan from Earth Dance was, was very supportive of our project and for four years they donated money 
which equates to about 250,000 rand to our project. Yeah, the Earth Dance as a concept, I think, is a really winning formula. It's, um, it's really nice to see that the money is going through to charities and that people are benefiting from it. It's a little more special than just uh, a regular party. And um, yeah, I, I don't really mind what I get paid for it. If they want to pay me, it's good. <laughs> uh, I'm just happy to be part of it all. Children's organizations and environmental concerns have really been our main focus. Um, trying to get people more aware about the environment. And I think by doing an outdoor music festival, it's just a, such a great forum to do that. So the Shine Centre is a community-driven project and we established ourselves in 2000. And the idea is that we are working with schools in the inner city areas that are attended by children who live in all the outlying township areas. So all the schools that we have centres in have course speaking children who are learning in their second language. Um, I got involved with Earth Dance just as somebody uh, who went and danced at a party a few years ago and and then just in the last year I've, I've got to know friends of Regan's who um, got more and more involved with, with the Shine Centre and um, in the, the last uh, dance that we had now we've had an amazing um, donation by Earth Dance and it really is going towards training of volunteers and hopefully as we grow our relationship with Earth Dance we will be able to open more centres. And then also it like slowly opening it up more and more to a family vibe too, so that there'll be different sections of the event, some which will be slightly more family orientated, uh, which is an area called Peace Camp, which not only has information about the organizations that we work with and where people can go and interact with these organizations and um, have a more peaceful event, uh, and there's workshops and talks and a bit of music um, and kids area and entertainment and yoga and all kinds of stuff going on stuff. Okay, okay, uh, here we are with the guy who's uh, actually organizing the party. I have a few questions for you please, are you shooting? Are you a It's about the party, don't you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, then you got the band stage going off with some of the best bands from around the country and then the trance floor which is always huge and you know where, where we started off, where we originally came from. Um, and Cape Town has such a rich culture when it comes to that music. The sky starts getting light and when that happens there's only one place to go and that's the trance floor. You have to, have to watch the sunrise at a trance floor. And you just see and you just, you, you, you're standing there and it's like the whole crowd is just pulsing and it's like that, you know, like that pulse that just only ever happens at a trance party. And then you'll see as the sun starts coming up, when you think everyone is dead, you know, that they've just danced too much, they're tired, they're over it, it's like it just reignites everyone all over again. And then everyone starts screaming and going, yeah, you know, and it's just a sunrise, but you know, it's it's like, you know, you, you don't ever get to enjoy it in that kind of a context. And with this, the, the, the wall of sound that you're surrounded by, the sound of trance parties is like second to none, you know, it's always brilliant. Yeah, okay. 